in closing, I have a worldview, and uh, many others have different worldviews. And for those of you who are watching that may not have my worldview and understanding, I just wanted to read this to you out of the Bible. Don't be afraid. Just listen and learn of what it is and whether or not you believe. It's not what I believe. It's what, what you believe. So in this case, just look at the words here. These things I command you, that ye love one another. This is Jesus. If the world hate you, ye know that it has hated me before it hated you. The world hates Jesus. If ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. And the world is going to hate me if they don't already now. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. This is life eternal that he is offering you. And this is a different realm of eternity, because outside of time, eternity is not within this realm of time. We can't even fathom what it means to be an eternal being. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He wants to save you from this world, and we have to recognize that there is this world is in need of salvation. It's a fallen world. That story in Genesis is real. For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Understanding that if thy hand offend thee, cut it off. It is better for thee to enter into life maimed than having two hands to go into hell, into the fire that ne never shall be quenched, where their worm dieth not and the fire is not quenched. Understanding it is punishment, unfortunately. This is the reality that we live in. You can either face it or not. You will die, and whether or not you believe that you have a soul, look around you. Look at the spiritism around you. Look at that, whatever is on the screen when you watch a movie, what you plug your brain into. And fear not that uh, which uh, them which kill the body but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both body and soul in hell. There is a reverence and a fear to fall in the hands of the living God is uh, in also in Hebrews, understanding that a reverential fear is a good fear, like a father. Hey, I don't want to, I don't want to uh, mess around and do something. My father is going to be mad at me uh, if I do that thing. So you want to have a respect and a fear of your father coming, a good fear. He is our father in heaven. Then shall he say unto uh also under them, on the left hand, depart from me, ye cursed, into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. Hell was pre prepared for the devil and his angels. And this is the will of him that sent me, that every one which seeth the Son and believeth on him may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up at the last day. And whosoever therefore shall confess me before men... Him will I confess also before my Father is in heaven. Salvation comes from your heart and your confession that you are a sinner and that you want him to save you. That's all it is. And let him work on your life uh, rather than try to clean up your life and then uh, because you don't believe that you're a Christian if you do. Believe in him. That's it. And when you truly believe, you're going to act on your belief and that's what works is work our faith is justified by who we are how we act what we do our life is justified that way i mean our salvation is justified by the things that we do and act and you just continue to work on that and that's all he's asking you to do he's covered your sin all you have to do is accept his covering but God commendeth his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. This is true Christianity. This is not stuff on your television, guys asking for money. They are the Illuminati. They are, they play us that way. They play your mind so that you can avoid Christianity at by all means because of what you see on their television screens, their money system. They wage wars in the name of God and have you believe that religion is all about that. There is one way and you have a soul in you. And there's one way that Jesus is saying he's exclusive. There is not Maitreya and Buddha and all of these other Christs that are going to come of different religions 
The Bible is clear in Revelation 17 that the last days church is a fornicating church. It is a harlot church that intermingles with all false religion. And there is one truth, and Jesus said he was the truth. In the beginning of this presentation, I show you that scripture. Two verses showing you what's going to happen in the end. Revelation 17, 17. For God hath put it in their hearts to fulfill his will, and to agree and to give their kingdom unto the beast, until the words of God shall be fulfilled. In the last days, all of these kingdoms that are set up, these countries, whatever they are, regions that are going to be set up, they're going to give their kingdoms unto this beast, which is going to be the world system. It's going to last for seven years, the Bible says, until all the words or until the words of God shall be fulfilled. They will all be fulfilled. Our words are so powerful, and God has written a word down. It's providence that this Bible has come through, and it is what it is. Revelation 19.10, and, uh, and I fell at his feet to worship him. Oh, this is John now uh, to an angel. And he said, the angel said, unto me, see thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant, meaning the angel and the man is a fellow servant, and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Jesus. Worship God, for the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Understanding, I know this sounds like Star Wars, your life, this life is way more fantastic. We're led to believe in this fantasy. We can go watch a 2D screen. That's reality. All of this is reality. Your thoughts are real. They are not fantasy at all. And this book has prophecy in it, whether or not you believe the in prophecy or not. There is spiritual divinity and people, psychics everywhere. I could tell you stories of people seeing psychics and we can even see this on TV that they say, you know, I've seen the, your father or um, point out things. We have an unbelievable world and I want you to get to the point where you can believe in prophecy and understand that there is a plan for you individually that, that God loves you and that this is all playing out to his plan. Let's move forward and understand how you are getting played. They are working magic on you in this world, programming you. To work magic is to weave the unforeseen forces into form. To soar beyond sight, to explore the uncharted dream realm of the hidden reality. To leap beyond imagination into that space between the worlds where fantasy becomes real. To be at once Animal and God, spells and magic require the combination faculties of relaxation, visual, visualization, concentration, and mental projection. To cast a spell is to project energy through a symbol. That's what they do. And they show you symbols and project energy. Jay-Z throws up the triangle and the entire crowd throws up the symbol. And that is energy magic in their case and I'll stop this uh, not stop the screen but hold the screen here so you can read the rest of this and this is a person's testimony uh, that he was taught in ritual magic and moving on to the final thing be strong in the Lord in and in the power of his might put on the whole armor of God we are in a battle a spiritual battle that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against uh, principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Understand we're in a battle. If you do not have armor on, I know it sounds allegorical, it is, but this is armor that we is real, that is spiritual, and you're plugging your brain into things that you really have no idea how it influences you. Take a look and understand that everything that they push on you on screen, in your mind, in books, words, phrases, lyrics, everything is designed to sway your opinion and just look and realize what those lyrics are doing. I wanted to take this opportunity to thank anyone that has watched 
the full presentation or parts of this presentation and remember watching parts of this presentation I don't recommend because it is a cumulative presentation if you don't if you miss parts you won't get other parts and so I ask you if you have not seen the entire presentation please go back I know it's a long process 10 hour hours out of your life life is really not that much you go see a movie um, you go to the park and you do all that stuff and it takes up time and please this I believe this presentation will give you a clear understanding of the occult the symbolism that they use that you'll be able to decipher that it will equip you in your life and whether or not you're a believer or a non-believer in my worldview which is true Christianity I, the belief that Jesus is our Savior the most famous one on the planet that nobody ever knows who said he's God please take a look at at this and take a look at it from this perspective that I got saved from my testimony of what I saw in the world and I was opening up nightclubs uh, three and a half years ago and now with all of this research I can go back to my friends even and tell them hey you're getting played so please www.thisprophecy.com is my website youtube.com this prophecy Facebook.com, This Prophecy, Twitter.com, This Prophecy. Please visit me and share your testimony. Any questions you have, please, we're open here. And um, I just wanted to say God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ.